Yeah, they draw five, essentially. I don't know why my stream does that sometimes, we just, like, flakes out. I got, um, what is it called? I should have go not gone through the motions there. I think, like, if I had just, like, because I kind of assumed the game was over as they were just scrambling for their dress downs. I think if I just committed more to the board there, you just had lethal a lot earlier. What's going on? Two, three, four, five, six. How is it that they have four cards and maybe they just have all like f permission or something in their hand. Funny thing is like, we talked about the cradle, it is hoof. Pretty sure we're still dead, but like it's, Maybe they just feel the pressure of, you know, being low on clock now. Hey Lawrence, how's it going? Uh, not really. I just don't think it adds anything to the deck. I think almost everything you need Um, that may or may not be accurate. I just feel like uh, everything you need is probably in green-black already, and I think if I don't misplay, we win this game, like, pretty easily, right? Granted, misplaying with this deck is highly possible, like, I think... Uh, for sure. I, I would agree with that. The good thing about this deck is... The synergies are not, like, that key. It's not like the traditional elf deck, which kind of falls apart if people disrupt your synergy. Um, like, the synergies are... The cards are good, like, kind of stand alone. Whereas the other one, the traditional elf deck, like, if you hit their mana, it's, it's kind of hard for them to recover. For sure. I, I, it's actually why, like, Gadot Teague is something I've considered and I've played, like, here and there. Uh, obviously, the Nambo with your other cards is, is a thing, and you don't always have the white mana, but I, I think the fact that it can be found off your eight tutors is pretty good. But I do agree with the premise. If I don't misplay, it's, it's not something you should rely on. I, I the, or you, you, It's nice to have bailouts when you do. But the way this game is going, I think, yeah, timing out is realistic possible. It's just I don't take real pleasure in, in really opponents timing out, right? Yeah, I think the thing is, like, it'd be more Gris, right? Unless you don't think Gris does that. There was that 5-drop or whatever. 
the other card that is like a standalone threat is the the green initiative card. Um, uh, catch up mechanisms. I think natural order is like the one, right? For attracts, obviously. Yeah, I like Inigo. I I misplayed earlier. I don't know if you saw or not. I I had I held a green sun in hand when I should just play to the board. And then the following turn, I had lethal and just didn't think about it uh, that they could have terminus next turn. So it's t really two back to back mistakes on subsequent turns. Otherwise, this is like an easy win. I don't think actually I'm like very low on bowmasters. I I just don't think it's good in the deck. It's like win more in my opinion. Uh It's possible like the second grist I think is like the best option personally. I, I don't think Bowmasters is good. I, it's not what the deck wants to do, in my opinion. Like, sure, there's a synergy, but... Like, untapping with Fiend is generally game anyways. Like, I, I don't think just getting the extra bodies for Fiend is, is the reason to play Bowmasters. Like, the first one obviously has value, but... Uh... Sure, I think that's reasonable. I, I just think co dedicated control cards such as like Under Mountain Adventure is just like low impact in the grand scheme of things. Uh, Shieldred. Uh, I think we just like. So we just turn into a combo deck post board against them. I don't even want to bog, I think. Like everything, it's like very streamlined to be a combo deck. Uh, I don't like card draw unless it's just like too good not to play. So for instance, um, we're like naturally immune to Bowmasters. I just don't feel like we should be adding cards that draw unless it's just too good not to play. It's, in my opinion, not really a toolbox deck, but... Um, I think people try to think of it as a toolbox. I, I think it's actually very far from that. Uh, it, it's actually very linear. It's almost like a cloud post deck where it tries to do the same thing every game. Yeah. It, it, like, I, I see a lot of people think this is a cloud post deck because it plays eight tutors, right? Um, four green sun, four artisan. I think that's like calling the epic storm a toolbox deck just because it plays a uh, burning wish mm. what do i want to do here i feel like i just do this right now A little bit awkward. If we draw a land, it's probably fine. This is a really 
realistic chance of just time out our opponent. Not not the way I really want to win. I rather just not misplay. But a grin. Ooh, that's not a bad draw. What in the world is going on? Why did they surgical my reclaimer? Maybe they're gonna bowmaster it? That's awkward. That is for sure awkward. Uh, I've tried Tivar. Um, it felt a little bit too var high variance to me. I think we're getting Bowmasters, yeah. Yeah. Unforge. The fact that they got value on the surgical is just really annoying. Ugh, it's really, really aggravating that they got value off the uh, Bowmasters. Yeah, just two dead draws in a row that if I just slam the Grist, it's probably game over. These draws. I have no one to blame but myself, though, for what's worth. I don't think we're gonna lose mana, but but just don't jinx myself. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think we might have another Bowmasters. I actually think they don't. I think here, we're gonna, if they have permission, I think we play around Force of Negation first. If they force this, we ramp. Okay, that's fine. So I, I did it this way because I wanted to be mana efficient. And if I did it, Shepard it first, they're going to force that. And then I can't cast the Gris on time. It was my concern. All right, we just need to fade one draw here on our own behalf. Actually, let's do it this way. Seize doesn't do anything. I think we take the ramp. They can get the swords back, but like.
we're just gonna go all in on ramp here. They're gonna get. The, presumably, they're gonna kill the attract though. And then we have a, a hook next turn. Should be a sanctuary here. They kill that track, so we go down to five. Yeah. And then we still have four, five, six, seven, eight mana. We have lethal. We're just gonna F6 the their turn here. damage all right five minutes I don't think we change anything I like the way we boarded yeah so I think the big Thing there was the sequencing that was involved right like we we sequence so that we could double spell for sure in case they counter the first thing keep or f6 ponder probably yep we're gonna go turn one ramp uh ideally we should hit one of the two land drops oh, sorry a land drop within the next two turns okay this is better Uh, I think here we just take their beanstalk because that's what their game plan is all about. Uh, sure, yeah. I think we just want to wrap. We're, we can double spell or triple spell next turn. Ugh. Can't play around the natural. Okay, that's kind of good. Uh, it is. I let me see how, if I can fix that. I, unfortunately, I'm too noob to realize how to do that here. I'll just close Discord, that's easier.
click faster. Okay. <laughs> All right, good luck, Max. All right, that wasteland was huge, uh, and we beat them without the uh, the time assistance, so to speak, right? Without the needing to uh, time them out. We should have really won all three games, but you know, I think it was nice to see the deck in action um, under a time crunch slash. Um, you know, under pressure, right? I have to win both. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that was, you know, harder than Eevee, but I think kind of showcases the control matchup is not as bad as people uh, say. Granted, that Wasteland was insane there, uh, and we just cut them off, like, probably a lot of their cards uh, um, for that rest of the, that third game, right? All right, I'm going to use the rest real quick.
Uh, hopefully we can finish these last two matches quickly. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Do you need help? Yeah. One second. All right, uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut this stream, uh, stream short, but um, really, uh, but the deck played out pretty well. I don't think we really missed crop rotation. Granted, we didn't play against any Merit Lage decks. Um, and I think we didn't really see, we didn't play against Storm, so the Mindbird Trap didn't come into effect, but the um, invigorates really shined in the, the first two matches, and then uh, we were able to grind our opponent in the uh, in the third match here. The Veil vale Summer uh, we drew once, but wasn't relevant because they just forced the first thing we did. Um, if I get time, maybe I'll finish this league like later on. But uh, right now, uh, I have to watch the baby. Who just came back? So, all right. Uh, thank you, everyone, for uh, tuning in. And if there's, let's see, any who's streaming. Okay, I'll raid. Looks like Molabok is doing a vintage cube. So let's do that. All right. Thanks, everyone, for stream uh, coming by. Here's the my socials again. Also, um, what's it called? I'll think about how we can improve this deck. I, I think the hole in this deck right now, is, it's a little bit soft to decks. Fast combo that is not affected by endurance. So that's kind of the justification for some of the sideboard cards that we picked. All right, uh, good night everyone.